seeing themselves as scientists. This week's innovative educator is instilling that mindset in her students. She believes it really helps them buy into the lessons and learn a lot. On the first day of class, Jessica Johnson asks her students at Burley Junior High School to draw what they think a scientist is. 98% of the time, they draw, you know, somebody who basically looks like Albert Einstein. <laughs> like this drawing. She wants them to picture something other than the stereotype. And then I show them what a scientist actually looks like, and I show them my picture. <laughs> and then I show them their pictures. And so they get to really start to see themselves as scientists. I remember some of the best teachers I had were teachers that did things that were not in a textbook or not following a script, and um, they made me excited about learning. For Johnson, that means giving her life science students fun but challenging projects and experiments to carry out, such as building a bridge over an ecosystem using only marshmallows, toothpicks, and two styrofoam cups. The only thing I'm concerned about is where am I going to drive? You're going to drive right party? there. Well, no, really, we're going to put, put more. <laughs> we're going to put like more marshmallows in between. This is already taking life science, but then bringing in engineering or blowing huge soap bubbles. So we were testing out which brands of soap made the best bubbles for kindergartners. Or dunking glow sticks in hot and cold water to see how heat speeds up molecules. And they stick the glow sticks in and instantly they see, oh hey, the one in hot water is brighter. The students in her human body class even designed a website focusing on resilience and the science of the human brain, a project with a very serious purpose. Um, our project is about um, preventing suicide and helping those that are going through a hard time. They've really designed this entire website and uh, they have just really done an amazing job at taking the driver's seat and I get to just kind of supervise. Which and Ms. Johnson says the students really do evolve into thinking of themselves as scientists. They're always really excited to try something new and they're not afraid to make mistakes, which is a huge part of being a learner and a scientist. Mission accomplished. Before I was in life science, I thought a scientist was someone who like had crazy hair and wore a lab coat at a table. I really think that a scientist could be anybody. It's someone who just studies anything or who studies life. I am Caitlin Nine and I am a scientist. I'm Lizzie Masoner and I'm a scientist. And she's Jessica Johnson, a scientist and innovative educator. The Resilience website launched on Tuesday. We'll have a link in the story on KTVB.com if you'd like to check it out. Also, Ms. Johnson just got a grant from CapEd Credit Union to buy a water testing kit and DNA and RNA kits for separate future lessons on the water cycle and genetics and, hered and heredity. Now, educators, for more information on submitting an application for a classroom grant, you can visit CapEdFoundation.org. And if you'd like to nominate an innovative educator, email us at innovativeeducator at KTVB.com.